Is this film worth your night? Let's find out. Hello Fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and this is the Film Fanatic Review bringing you Game Night, starring Jason Bateman, Rachel McAdams, and Kyle Chandler. First we'll tell you what the movie is about, and our initial thoughts. Then we'll move on to our spoiler free likes and dislikes. We'll finish up with some spoiler heavy thoughts on this film, and our final word. Game Night follows the story of a group of friends who meet regularly for game nights and find themselves trying to solve a real-life murder mystery. Overall, I was blown away by this film. Like most modern comedies, I expected the trailers to give away all the good parts, but that wasn't the case. For what I liked about this film, let's start off with the cast. This is a star-studded cast and they bring their A-game to this film. Between New Girl's Lamorne Morris, Pitch's Kylie Burnbury, and Dexter's Michael C. Hall, each of them is able to use their strengths to create memorable, investable, and hilarious characters. While Bateman and McAdams are great as the leads, the standout in this film is Jesse Plemons. His deadpan humor steals the show and makes his character the one underused part of the story. Speaking of the story, it is a great blend of comedy, action, and drama. The comedic aspects are witty and not overused as the majority of the jokes hit perfectly. The underlying themes of competitiveness, sibling rivalry, and friendship is infused into the story without forcing outlandish situations into it, and the action crime in the story feels organic and believable, rather than adding action for the sake of action. This story is nothing without the writer-director duo of Daly and Goldstein. They're able to create a tone and atmosphere that feels like a David Fincher film mixed with horrible bosses. And I have to give props to the use of the tilt-shift effect for some of the transition sequences. That's where they make it look like everything seems miniature and it added to the idea that this was all a game. However, I wasn't a big fan of Billy Magnuson's character as his very immature antics downplayed the witty humor of this story. And the story, while hilarious and action-packed, does become increasingly improbable as it goes on. And that's where I'll end our spoiler-free thoughts on this film. If you want to hear our final word or rating of this film, pause now and click the link in the description, because now it's time for spoilers. First off, if you haven't seen Kylie Burnberry's show Pitch, I highly recommend it. Game Night merely scratches the surface of her talents and Pitch puts them on full display. Most action comedies of late have been filled with crude humor, random crime elements, and sometimes feel like comedy sketches thrown together around a bare bones story. However, Game Night feels real, plausible, and grounded in all of those aspects, which to me puts it way ahead of the rest and makes me excited for other projects Daly and Goldstein have coming out. Who thought that Sam from Freaks and Geeks and Sweets from Bones would eventually be working on films like Spider-Man Homecoming, Game Night, and Flashpoint? And the best scenes to me were The Bullet Wound, The Bridge Meeting, The Bloody Dog, and any Jesse Plemons scene. So with the thoughts heard, here's our final word. Game Night is a smart, layered action comedy that boasts a well-written, hilarious story. With some great underlying themes and some phenomenal performances, this is definitely one night not worth missing. This film exceeded all of my expectations, and I cannot wait to see it again, so I'm gonna give Game Night an 8.5. Thanks everyone for watching our review. Are you planning on seeing Game Night, or if you've already seen it, do you have something to add? What did you think of the story? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dylan Phillips, and this has been the Film Fanatic Review. If you liked this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Check out our latest Worth the Watch video where we recap and review Season 1 of Grownish. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. And until next time, fanatics, keep it real.